Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, in YouTube world, ooh. Um, basically, this video actually has a theme this time. Um, I'm gonna start having a recurring thing about uh, something that I know about very well that I know more than anything else that I know is something I'm more passionate about than anything else that I know um, I'm gonna do recurring videos about comic book news um, also giving my opinion about a lot of stuff as as far as like stuff with comic books and um, you know um, things of that matter because of the fact that I do have a lot of knowledge when it comes to comic books I'm not I don't want to try to toot my own horn toot no I'm joking but I know a lot of stuff when it comes to comic books I know a lot of stuff when it comes to anime especially you know anime and comic books but I know more about comic books than I do anime as far as my knowledge is anime it's more along the lines as classic stuff that I grew up with um, like Gotcha Man and Voltron and Robotech, you know, um, stuff through like seven, through from like late 70s because I was born in 77, um, 80s and some of the stuff in the 90s. Um, but I know more about comic books. I know about stuff in comic books from even before I was born. Which is crazy. It's mainly because I do a lot of research, you know, especially when it's like characters that's my favorite. You know, it's I, I've studied a lot about it, you know, not for any classes because when I'm interested, I'll study about it. On top of that, like when you read stuff like Wizard Magazine or anything of the sort, or even like going to a comic book store, you hear about classic stories and stuff like that. So, um,. It's not going to be every video from now I'm going to be doing this, but it's going to be a recurring thing where, like, um, you know, I'm going to be doing this as part of my vlogs as well as regular vlogs of what I'm doing throughout the day. Um, I'm about to talk about something really, really um, in a bit about um, something I really, really need to talk about. And if I seem a little bit groggy, I'm sorry. Um, I got a little bit of a cold and I just took some NyQuil. But, um, um, I am wearing a hoodie because it's a little cold in here because the air conditioner is like freezing. And, um, I'm wearing like Superman zip up hoodie thingy. Ooh, belly. I just made myself look like really gross when I did that. It was like my belly was like, Arr. but um, the, um, yeah. In a bit, I'm about to talk about something that I really need to talk about. All right. Okay, here's something I really, really need to talk about. Now, I don't know if any of you guys heard about it. I'm pretty sure it's big news, but um. They're making another Superman movie. Um, Christopher Nolan from Batman Begins and Batman the Dark Knight is producing it. And Zack Snyder is directing the film. You know, they already have a starring actor and there's a script. And hold on. Had a crazy wedgie. It was like sitting here talking to y'all and wonder where it sucked up in the crack of my ass. But, <laughs> Everybody knows about this and being a new Superman movie. Now, um, I heard about the script and who the principal villain is going to be and everything. And I have some gripes and it is a formula that, you know, they need to stop doing as far as Superman films. Um... Like, very, very much something that they have to, like, pay attention to and stop doing for Superman movies. Um, number one, 
Stop revisiting the origin. Everybody knows the origin. Every Superman movie, TV show, or, you know, anything like revisits the origin. You do it a lot. And if you want to make a new Superman movie um, with something fresh, stop revisiting the origin. We all know they came from Krypton. He was raised by a family in Smallville, Kansas. You know, discovered his powers and stuff like that. We know this. It's been told every time there's been a Superman movie, Superman TV show, stuff like that. It's been done to death. Everybody knows it. Stop putting that in the movies. Stop revisiting it. The second thing, the second huge thing is Superman has is is the villains. That's the second thing is the villains. I have to point this out. Superman has a big list of villains. He has almost about as many villains as Batman or anyone else in the DC universe. Stop using Lex Luthor or General Zod as his major villain in a movie. Like, if you want to do different Superman movies and more Superman movies, you know, he has other villains. There's Parasite, there's um, Doomsday, who had killed Superman, and somehow he came back to life. Um, there's um, Mitsuplitzik. Um... You know, there's Earth 2 Superman. Um, well, Earth 2 Ultraman thing is like the evil version of Superman. You have Bizarro. You have... is It's a list of villains that Superman has. Stop revisiting the same two villains. It's like, yes, Luthor is his arch nemesis. But... Stop putting him in the Superman films. You don't have to have him in every one of them. Zod is pinnacle to Superman. But stop putting him in every Superman film. That's like... I want to see other other Superman villains in there. You know, you also have Cyborg Superman who's a villain. Hank Henshaw. You know, you have Metallo. Like, all these great villains that's in the Superman storyline, the Superman mythos, and every time they do a movie, it's the same too. The only thing, as far as Hollywood, has ever done stuff with other Superman villains has been the TV shows. The old Superboy TV show from, like, late 80s, early 90s, I'm not quite sure when it was, but, you know, Superboy TV show. And then you had Smallville. Oh, I forgot Lois and Clark. The Adventures of Super, the event, ah, Superman, The Adventures of Lois and Clark, and Smallville. The only things Hollywood has done has visited other villains other than the same two over and over again. But every movie made off of Superman has used one of those two villains. Superman 1, Lex Luthor. Superman 2, General Zod, and Lex Luthor. Superman 3, some made-up megalomaniac who basically was Lex Luthor Jr. who had a plan, this elaborate plan, used Richard Pryor as a computer genius to, like, hack into stuff, and they used Red Kryptonite. It was, Superman 3 was a mess. Superman 4, again, Lex Luthor with a plot to make something that was like Superman which came about Nuclear Man and that movie was only about like freaking anti-nuclear war message that's all that was about my favorite because they had a villain that wasn't in the comic books he was a super villain he had powers and um like he had powers and um you know it was someone other than Lex Luthor fighting Superman you know, you know, there's another villain that they need they, they should put in Mongo and you got Dark Side. You know, of all Superman villains. Stop revisiting Luthor and Zod. Superman returns, it was Lex Luthor. 
you know, in this current movie that's about to come, that they're in the process of making, is General Zod. <laughs> Stop using these same two guys. That's really getting annoying as far as Superman movies. Fans don't want to see the same two villains. They want to see all of Superman's villains do like you did with the Batman films. Put a different villain in a, in every movie that you come out with. Batman, because his rogue, his rogues list is well known. He, they would use a different villain in every Batman film. Every Batman film was a different villain. It was one that was a Joker. You had the Riddler in one. You had Catwoman in one. Penguin. You know, Two Face. All these villains has been in a Batman movie. Just about every single one. And they never revisited the same villains over and over again. And they never left it with only one villain in every movie or two villains in every movie. It was a different one each movie. And they need to do this for Superman. Because I'm honestly getting tired of seeing that. Wow. Um, they got new episodes of Ugly Americans and I think they're making fun of Harry Potter in there. But it's something that, that needs to happen. Um, X-Men sort of did it where um, they had Magneto in just about every film. But they did showcase different characters in each film. So it wasn't all Magneto. You know. Um, I would love to see Apocalypse in the X-Men movie. You know, they could do amazing things with CG and have Lawrence Fishburne as the voice of Apocalypse. Done deal. You know, it can be pulled off. Either Lawrence Fishburne or Michael Clark Duncan as the voice of Apocalypse. One of those two. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get one more. Michael Dorn. One of those three. You know, Apocalypse would have been a great in the X-Men movie. Would have translated very great in the X-Men movie. There's just some ideas. Um, yes, yeah, so it's pretty much my point of view, my um, opinion about that. So, yeah. Okay. Now, that's my thing. This is going to be a recurring thing as far as where I talk about comic book news. Um, anything as far as referring to comic book movies, comic books itself, big events, stuff like that as far as comic books are concerned. And this will be the thing where I'll do video um, where I go to comic book conventions and stuff like that. I don't quite know what I'm going to call this segment that's going to be recurring in my vlogs. You guys can come up with names or whatnot, but this, you know, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it or anything like that if I call it anything. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys about something else um, entirely, you know, because I have some more stuff as far as comic books to talk about. So, yeah. See you guys later.